Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today I'm gonna to be doing my haul of everything I bought during the 2021 Spring Sephora sale. I did do a live stream about a week or two ago where I talked about what I was going to buy. I think for the most part, it was pretty much the same, but I know not everyone likes live streams, so I also wanted to do a separate video where I just show you guys when I actually have the package in front of me, everything I picked up during the sale. I did save up for a bit and I splurged a bit, and I'm really excited about everything that I got here. So let's go ahead and jump in. Okay, so first I picked up the Ease Drop Fenty, the new Fenty Blurring Drops, and I got the shade one just because I know I am just very, very pale. Just so pale. So let's open this up. And this is what she looks like, you know, not, not too far off <laughs> from my current skin tone. I'm excited to try this out. I'm gonna try it out on its own as a regular foundation. And then I can't, honestly, I cannot wait to mix this with other foundations that I like, but are just like a little bit off for me, skin tone wise. Like what I'm wearing today, I mixed a couple foundations together and it's still like, slightly off. So that's why I got this. I'm excited to try it out. Next, I picked up a lipstick from Dior. And honestly, I splurged on this because I really wanna use it in my next best and worst of black lipsticks videos. So this is the Rio, Rouge. This is the Rouge Dior um, Ultra Rouge. I cannot read French. Rouge Ultra Pigment Ultra t Ultra Hydrating Weightless Wear Lipstick. Why is why are the name so long? That is a crazy length. Okay. Anyway, it's in shade 111 Ultra Night. So it is supposed to be a black. So let's see what this looks like. Ooh, look at this packaging. All right, let's... I want to swatch this because I've just been so curious. Huh. Huh. Okay. To be honest, I thought it was going to be super sheer. Like I wasn't, I really didn't have super high expectations, but that's pigmented. Wow. I can't wait to test this out for the best and worst of black lipsticks. Volume four, I think we're at. Next, I picked up two mini palettes from Natasha Denona. So first I got the mini love palette, which I have to admit, I was super tempted by the love palette, but I knew I didn't need that big palette with all those shades. So this is the next best thing. Look how cute this is. And it really is the essence of the love palette burnt down into a $25 palette. So here's a close up. Look how cute. I love everything about this. The other mini palette I got is the mini retro palette. Let's see. I really got this just because I love these grungy tones. It's like, to me, this is just grungy spring. And I think that's like my favorite aesthetic for spring. Like I like pastels, but not as much as I like like these grungy tones, you know, just as something about a good grungy green or a yellow that just, it just it checks off all my boxes, you know? And here is the mini retro zoomed in. How pretty. Oh my God. Next, something I've been like really excited about, but just never got around to picking up until now. Um, I picked up the liquid blushes from Rare Beauty and I got two shades. So the first shade I got is this one. This is Grateful and it's like a bright, bright orangey red. It looks so pretty. I'm gonna swatch these just cause I cannot wait. Ooh, okay. So it's got like a doe foot. I'm gonna do just, a, ooh, wow. Try to wipe off the end and then Blend that out, wow. So that's that shade. So that's the shade Grateful, it's the first one I picked up. For the next shade, I got the shade Faith. Now I went a little bit out of my comfort zone. This is really dark and it's very purple, but I really wanted to do some more like kind of editorial looks. Like LS just posted a look to her Instagram, uh, which was just like this purple editorial look with like bright purple blush. And I was like, mm, I wanna do something like that with my Lila palette. So I was like, you know what? If I'm gonna go out on a limb and try a liquid blush anyway, why not try a purple one? Ooh, and that is very, very purple. <laughs> so those are the two shades I got in the liquid blush and I cannot wait to try these out. Before I show the last thing that I picked up, I did get some samples. So the first sample I got were some samples of the Lip Stories lipsticks. I've tried a few of these, like the black and the green ones, and they're actually super comfortable and pigmented, but I never got around to trying any other shades. So they did give us four shades. There is like a metallic yellow. There is a deep brown. There is a like orangey kind of shade and then there's like a super deep kind of mauve so i'm excited to try those out and for how affordable these are i think these are really good lipsticks so i can't wait to try more of these out the other sample that i got was a sample of a givenchy foundation uh i honestly picked this sample because this is from the same prism libre line as the loose powder that i love a lot so i wanted to try this out so this is the uh, prism libre skin caring glow foundation and i think they just give you a couple of little 
bubble packet in here. Oh, okay, so there's swatches. So you can just swatch and see which one. I kind of, I like the bubble packets better because at least I can get like one use out of it and see whether or not I even want to try and pick up the foundation. The swatching ones only really help if I know I'm going to pick up a foundation. Like I got the Laura Mercier swatchy ones because I know I want to pick up a Laura Mercier um, tinted moisturizer because actually that was one of the first products I used like way back in like 2015 and I want to go back and revisit it. Um, but like this, I don't know if I'm going to pick up. So that's kind of a little disappointing. Now for the piece de resistance, something I've been wanting to get forever. And I finally saved up and splurged and got it during the sale. I got a full-size Pat McGrath palette. <laughs> so I do own one of the holiday Pat McGrath palettes. I got it a few years ago. I think it was in 2018. And it's all right, but it didn't like blow my mind. Like everyone seems to like love Pat McGrath shadows. And I was told because that was a holiday release, it might not be the same as an actual full-size palette. So I got the Divine Rose 2 palette and I didn't realize it, but it came in limited edition packaging. So first off, the box is just amazing, but the packaging itself is this rose gold. Oh, how pretty. And then you open it up. Oh, look, oh my God. These like look too perfect for me to even like go in and like swatch like like, look how pretty that is. Oh my god. <laughs> this shade right here, I want all over my face, just everywhere. Oh my god. So I'm really excited to actually, like, try these out, do some looks, see if it blows my mind the same way that I've seen, like, specifically, like, Smoky Glow, and I know Teresa's Dead has done some videos, um, and people have just been raving about this formula, and now I can finally try it out for myself. Let me know down below what kind of videos, if any, you guys like to see me do with this. I think I'm going to not do a first impression, but if you guys want to see like a three looks, one palette, I could probably do that along with a full review. And also my full review of the new Natasha Denona palette will be coming out soon because that's the thing. I don't like rushing a review, especially for a palette this expensive. You know, I like to take my time, give it a full good review, try it for a few weeks before I come out and give you guys my recommendation. And I'm going to keep the packaging on this one because it is just so darn pretty. Like, look at that. Probably put it on display somewhere back here. <laughs> All right, and that is everything I picked up during the Sephora sale. Let me know down below if you sopped, sopped. Let me know down below if you shopped the sale and what you picked up, and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.